For one thing, if you're running the transportation agency or one of the associated agencies, our goals used to be much more simple. They were admirable, but they were simple. Safety and throughput. And now, they're really about quality of life. And if you look at uh, press conferences that, that Rahm Emanuel and I had, or Adrian Fenty, we really didn't talk about transportation almost at all. Because when you poll people uh, during an election cycle, transportation ranks between 7th and 23rd typically in importance. These things matter to people. And these are actually the things that we affect in people's lives. So you've got to relate to people in the way that they care about. The other thing that we did is we set very aggressive two-year action agendas. We didn't call them plans because they weren't plans. We committed to get 120 to 150 things done in a very short time frame, um, two years, and then we would report on what we did and what we didn't do, what we failed at, what we succeeded at, what we exceeded. Um, again, we built around these principles, uh, things that matter to people. And what I realized, having been in the private sector, then in government, and going through this process, is that it's really all about change management. It's about how you bring all of your stakeholders along with you and facilitate this change. So whether it was a giant new $100 million uh, train station or the Chicago Riverwalk, which we'll talk more about, or simple changes to make our streets uh, safer with paint and some, some signaling changes like this barn stance, uh, or the new BRT system, or even the activation of an alley. Um, it's really about change management and fundamentally changing our approach to redesign around people um, and safe streets for everybody. Um, and so when we did this, we said, okay, we're gonna publicly come out and be honest with people about our priorities. And I thought we'd get a backlash when we put out this new modal hierarchy and said our focus now is the pedestrian first, transit second, cyclist third, and auto last. We got no pushback. And I realized it's hard to argue with prioritizing people in our society. 